He gone. Look at his. Oh, look at this little guy eating. Kind of hard to see him though. There's a little bit of algae in the way. He's eating. They're eating pretty good though. These baby turtles my little sister caught and refused to let go. It's pretty cool though. I got three of them in here. So it's pretty cool watching them eat. Uh, she didn't want to take care of her anymore. Figured that was kind of going to happen, but they, they kind of settled in this tank. Got this little guy here, the biggest one I think he is. Oh, he's kind of cute though. Let's see if we can get a good look at him. There we go. Probably a good look at him. Little common musk turtles. And now this is just some chicken I chewed up and uh, rolled up into a ball for him today. I gotta clean up a little bit in here too though, get get some stuff cleaned up and uh, maybe we'll show off. Oh, there's another one. Just come out of there. Let's see what he does. He'll probably join in. Maybe. Ooh, yay, it looks like he will. That's pretty cool. Probably smells it. Come on, little buddy. Probably will smell in the corner. So I got another piece back here with the other little one. Trying to see him a little bit, you know. He's going back there. One, two, and three is over in this corner. I got my clay dude there, my little clay skull crawler, it's kind of messed up. He's over there, this little guy's right here, oh, I'm sorry little fella, I didn't mean to scare you. Resume to eating, he's got a little piece of chicken still in his mouth. Kind of leave these guys alone for now. Kind of hard to see. We'll see if we can see Spook the Blind Cave Tetra soon out in front of the tank. Let's see here, buddy. Oh, there he is. There you go, buddy. This is the most resilient little fish I've ever had. I mean, I've gone almost a week without feeding him at some points, and he just survives. I mean, I've never had a fish this resilient. I'd actually like to get a few more, but he's just so, uh, I'm glad I spent a little three bucks on him. He, he's, he's probably one of the neatest little pets I've kept that's purely more of a pet than, you know, more of the exotic kinds that I keep. He's a pretty cool little, little pet fish. We got Caesar right here. He's got, got a few dry greens in there. I gotta clean that out. But, uh, he's been eating some of his greens. Alright, buddy. Nice, Caesar. He's kind of deflated a little bit, but he's doing fine. Here, let's see if we can give him just a little bit. Here, buddy. Let's get you a big... Yeah, you see it. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah. Yeah, good boy. Yeah. Good boy. You're doing great, aren't you, buddy? 
<clears throat> now I'm going to combine it with another fitting video I took just a few about a week ago that I, I meant to get all of them together, but I was really tired that night. Oh, yeah, let's put a little bit out. Caesar's happy. And, uh, oh, you think you're going to get fed, girl? Yeah, that's about two days away, girl. You know, two days away from getting fed. And you're just right here like, all right, I'm ready to be held, buddy. Yeah. All right. Nothing in these tanks, unfortunately. We've lost a couple of dear friends. I mean, it's a daggum mess in here. I gotta get some, uh, man, I gotta clean up in here. But yeah, I, I've gotta scrub some algae out and get all these things done. The turtle tank needs some siphoning out. I just got this done, but he, he's got a lot of, a lot of all this in here. But remarkably clean from when I last cleaned it. Except for all this, I just gotta siphon this out. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you want some chicken? I think, I think, uh... You'd probably want a whole chicken, though. You probably won't want this crushed up stuff I got for the catfish I'm about to show in a minute. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Hey, you big guy. He's like, are you talking to me? Yeah, hey, big guy. Yeah. He's pretty tame for a turtle. For a musk turtle, he's pretty tame. Now, unfortunately, one of them passed away, and, uh, yeah, big guy. I actually have the skull of that turtle over here. Oh, that's a really cool picture of him. He's like, I'm ready to be fed. I just fed you, though, last night, buddy. I'll get you some more chicken, though. We'll see. Hold on. Got the catfish out here, too. Got the Asian red tail here, Salazar. Kind of hard to see. I got to scrub some algae off the side. He's still got some chicken over there left over from the last time I fed him. But he likes to hang outside for some reason. And DJ, of course, he's in here. And I'm actually going to pull these guys out and measure them up to see how they've grown. And Salazar, I've had him for about three years now. He hasn't grown much bigger. And DJ, I've had for almost uh, a year or so now. So uh, we'll go ahead and check out on the other guys real quick. Oh, it looks like they're eating back there. I can't tell, though. Kind of hard to see, but I'm pretty sure it's them. And this little guy right here, eating. This isn't good. Kind of hard to see with a little bit of algae, but he's back to eating. Gotta yeah, scrub the front though. Yeah, you happy little buddy? I like to hide under the log. I'm kind of happy I've got these little turtles to take care of again. I like baby turtles. Hey, buddy. Wait, there are two of them right there? Oh, there is two. There's two. One there and one there. I didn't notice. You gonna go up there, little buddy? Yeah. Yeah. No, I like these little guys. I call them three amigos. I gotta speak a little louder, though. I'm sorry if you can't hear me quite yet. He's up there in that grass now. But, uh, I got this new camera, and it has better quality video, except for this black one I've got. I think this is a Note 4, but, uh... The problem is, is that the speaker is on the back instead of the bottom, like the other, the Note 3s that I use. And, uh, unfortunately, it creates a, a vacuum of noise. And that's why, in the previous video, or, uh, you know, the toy hunt and the pet, um, the toys, the pet store video I did, just, you could not hear my voice whatsoever. But we're going to throw in some of this for him real quick. Got nothing up here, really, so. Alrighty. There we go. And he'll get right into that. I was able to get a few good chunks for him. He'll, he'll love that. My buddy, we'll get your thing siphoned out tomorrow. Right, buddy? Hold on a sec. They're knocking. Hey, he's going to take him to a corner and he's going to eat it. All right, buddy. I'll get you done tomorrow and then I'm gonna pull out the catfish actually for once I, I don't really pull them out as you can see though I got I gotta get this algae cleared off in one second I gotta answer them okay they want me to come wash some things and here's the turtles again little turtles yeah buddies the other ones in that corner and we'll pull out the catfish in just a second hey guys and good grief I will show you this look how big he's gotten that is my little electric catfish it might be hard to see him. I can't really see him myself. Though. Look at his side profile, though. 
he is absolutely massive since when we got him first when he's about that big he's only about two inches and now he's well well over four inches so he's growing huge and we will take a closer look at him from you know from distance and actually i'm going to touch him because i never touched him since uh, when i first put him in the tank you know salazar's in the tank too but i was surprised because they were both in uh the crocodile skull and usually they're not together but they were this time and i also want to show y'all real quick yeah. caesar over there and they got all the toys it's all a mess we got the turtle here and He's finishing up eating. All right, buddy. But uh, we will take. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and touch him. I'm gonna see how bad. If it does like sting a little bit. Let's see. I don't feel anything really. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. That was a pretty good jolt. Holy crap, man. Dang. That was pretty... Woo! I, I hope I got that face. Dang. I, I don't want to disturb him too much. But I, I'll get the camera a little closer up to him. That's what I want. That was pretty amazing. That was a pretty amazing feeling. I'm going to go ahead and take the net out. Because it's got uh, some gravel in it. We'll just take a good look at him for a little while. That was pretty. I, I had to rub him for a minute. I had to rub him for a minute to actually get that feeling. I That was pretty amazing, man. I never thought I'd feel something like that. Hold on. We'll have to... There we go. He's got to bend over quite a bit for y'all to see him. There we go. I'll let him swim pie real quick for y'all. That... There's nothing that that was a pure shock, man. And that, yeah, I'll, I'll let him swim by the camera first before I, uh, I uh, let y'all see me for a second. I want him to, you know, come out as much as I can. He can on video for a minute. This is the first little animal video I've done in a long time. Um, I might actually do it again just to just to see. Man, I I still kind of feel that. This is such an amazing fish, though. I'm gonna actually. That's pretty cool. Just swimming up the side. I want to do that again, please, buddy. Do that again. That's that's cool, buddy. And DJ is his name. DJ off of Davy Jones, if y'all don't remember, is his name from Pirates of the Caribbean movies, and that's why I named all my fish off of, or at least my catfish. Come on, buddy. And I, he's like a little dog. He doesn't mind being petted and all that. He's a pretty cool little fish. And I, I'm gonna switch camera view so you can see him better. We got him here, DJ, and he is so big. I mean, look at my hand. Well, look at my hand compared to him now. When and you look at what he used to be. What? Oh, he's gulping some air. I want to swim up beside him and see his belly. Oh, come on, zoom in. Of course, not the sides too. I just want to get some good video of him. Oh, come on, buddy. Swim up over here. Take a big gulp of air. Such a cool fish. Yay, you did it. I got a puppy dog. I hope I got that on video, though. I'm going to do it one more time to, to uh, see. It's so cool. I love this catfish. He is such a cool species. Very cool pet, though. He's very tame. I mean, but I'll show y'all in just a second. But I mean, I felt that. It just go up my middle finger, and I felt it all the way in my shoulder. And I'm almost afraid to do it again. I don't want to stress him out that much, because if I do it one more time, one more time, mind you. Uh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Let's see if he'll uh, eat some chicken, too. So try throwing a piece of chicken in there for him. See if he'll go for it. It'd be really cool if he does. I hear my cat meowing. I want I want to see if we can get him to actually try and eat some. Hey buddy, you want, want some? He doesn't seem very interested in it. Yeah. Yeah, he's not very interested in the chicken at all. Okay. 
I I'm gonna do it one more time, guys, and you'll see my reaction. Oh, whew. And that one, I didn't even touch him. It's like he got stressed, he pulsated, and it went through the water and up my finger. And it wasn't that as, as bad as the first time, but you get a sense of that shock. Whew. I mean, because it just travels through the water and amplifies it. That is an amazing adaptation for these fish. It's, in this, in these, I've wanted one of these for a while. When I was a kid, I wanted one so bad because I thought they were so cool. And to finally get one about a year ago, it's amazing to see how big he's grown up to be. How resilient he is. Because uh, this is a little colder water than what they're used to. But, I mean, he's doing very well and he's eating very well. And I'm going to put him back in the tank because I don't want him getting stressed out. As you see, he's, he's gulping for He's gulping for air a little bit. Other than that, he's doing really great. Just want to pull him out and show him to you guys for, for a short while. Let's see, let's see. Hard to see, though. He's just sitting there now. Trying to get past all these toys. He's just sitting there. I'll look at him from this perspective one more time. Alright, but I think we got a good enough view of him. And we're going to put him back in the tank. And we're going to pull out Salazar next. We would uh, videotape him going back into uh, the tank. We're going to gently get him back in here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, you got your little... Alright, yeah, you're fine. You'll be in there. He's like, a, he's like a big slug. Like a catfish slug. But there we go, big guy. Get you back in your... In your tank. He's going to probably go straight for the castle where Salazar is. Yep, he's going to squeeze his fat little body right through there. And now the trick is to get Salazar out. And he's a little more difficult. He's much more wily than DJ is. Ooh, that was actually a lot easier than usual to get Salazar. Here he is. Yeah, of course he's much more wily than DJ is. Ooh, here we go. And Salazar is an an uh, Asian red tail catfish, and I bought him for twelve dollars at a pet shop. And uh, he hasn't grown much. He's he's a really cool pet. I've had him for over three years now, and he hasn't. Uh, he's not really eating much, but he's a really cool pet that I've had for a while. He doesn't show as much red in the tail. He's actually getting a little brighter. He's got a spot on his tail now. Maybe he'll come near us. Maybe if he'll settle down just a wee bit. Come on, buddy. Come over here. I'm going to try and herd him over towards us. I'm going to try and pet him a little bit, too. Got those barbels. I love feeling catfish, too. They're such a cool, very cool species. But he, they're not eating. I just fed these guys, so they're probably not that hungry. So we're just going to put Salazar back in. And he is well over six inches now. If you look compared to uh, my my hand, so so he's about uh, two more inches bigger than DJ, but he knows who is in the pecking order. That's why actually after feeling that shock, if they haven't uh, been so, uh, so well bonded uh, in the tank before, I would probably remove Salazar from the tank. But uh, they do pretty well together. I think they'll be just fine. Usually, catfish are very hardy with each other. And they're very, uh, they feel very safe with each other. Like electric catfish, they deal with a lot of other catfish in the wild rather than other species like cichlids. And those are usually the best species to house with electric catfish if you are going to house them. However, I do not recommend housing electric catfish with any other fish. However, I did have, uh, I do have Salazar. And I might possibly get another cichlid to go in the tank. But uh, those are the, probably the only fish that you can house together. Because I've seen so many other people who have even lost some like goldfish and some cichlids. And even a, a uh, what is it, a, a turquoise snakehead in one video. It got shocked by an electric catfish after getting too close. So we're going to go ahead and get uh, Salazar put back into the tank. Just to figure we check him out and see how all the catfish are doing. All the animals, I'm going to pair up uh, a previous feeding, feeding video from a week before. With this video, because I don't have as many animals as I used to, unfortunately. Uh, there was one bad week about uh, six months ago. The reason why I didn't do a video for like a month is because I was very, was really sad at that point. Because I lost my quail due to quail flu at the at the time. I lost Spud the salamander, and Crone had passed away. 
uh, just out of the blue, and it, it really crushed me, because, uh, you know, it might seem like I'm just a collector to y'all guys, but I really do love these animals, and to lose them really hurts me, especially losing many at once. Now, what I'm doing now is, uh, I'm not doing any more animals, except I might do another leopard gecko at, at some point, because I love leopard geckos, or chameleons, because the girls love chameleons and they want a chameleon. But uh, the main focus for me is maybe a few more fish for the aquarium. So I like to do some neon tetras and uh, maybe some crabs or something or some jelly bean frogs for uh, th this little tank that I've got right here. Put some jelly bean frogs in it. But uh, I'd also like to look at some a few other catfish. Uh, but I mainly want to focus on uh, salamanders because those are my passion in life. I love salamanders. And for Christmas, what we're trying to do is I'm going to go to Reptile City. And now before you judge me on going to Reptile City, I'm going to give them a chance to uh, see, because I know it's like horror stories from them, and Felton Willis is kind of a jerk bag, if uh, you know what I mean from what I've read, and I, I called him, and he wasn't really, he didn't really sound like an up forward kind of nice guy to me, to be honest, so, I, uh, and I contacted, I think would be either his female employee or his wife, originally, and she was very nice, but uh, he, he didn't, uh, he wasn't as, as nice as her. But uh, I'm still going to give them a chance and see how it works out. I'm going to buy eight, uh, three, actually four salamanders, four marbled salamanders, because they're my favorite salamanders and favorite animals of all time. Uh, four of them, and I'm going to get four free, making up to eight marbled salamanders. And I'm going to set up a tank. And uh, might as well let y'all uh, look at me for a second, uh, if it works out. And what I'm going to do is, uh, pardon the mess... I'm going to build a 20-gallon like a Caesars and Nero's tank. And it's going to go up here where all these ta these uh, toys are. Because I'm going to get storage racks to put up over on this side of the room, and uh, I'm going to build in or build in a small creek into the enclosure. I'm going to show y'all how to build it. And it's kind of a repto filter, sort of a waterfall, and it's going to act like an Appalachian creek. Kind of what I grew up with. Because I love salamanders and that's the habitat I love. And I, I really would love to do this for, uh, you know, salamanders and all that. And maybe some down, rare down the line. I want to add, again, get another tiger salamander. Get more axolotls because we also lost Toothless. And Toothless was in that same week. Oh, and that, that sucked so bad, man. But, uh, and the only other animal project I'm working on, other than some of the other fish and amphibians, is... Uh, Bunny rabbits. I'm planning on breeding some Netherland dwarfs and some mini lopeared uh, dwarfs. Uh, I'm planning on breeding them to sell them to make a little bit of cash on the side, you know what I mean. But uh, other than that, I'm not really doing any more animals for now. Uh, I'm focusing on whatever I need to do. Uh, I want to try and pay for uh, my mom's prescriptions and all that that she needs and trying to help out with the family and the bills. Uh, so animals are going to kind of take a, a, a back step, except for a few animals that are very easy to care for. Like salamanders, they're very low maintenance. Uh, and then some fish I can fit into these tanks, like axolotls will definitely be a thing because the girls love axolotls. Uh, maybe a few turtles, depending on which kinds. I love to do soft shells again, but uh, you gotta—they're—they're they're pretty expensive. But as for fish, fish and salamanders are the biggest thing on my list right now, besides rabbits. And then toy collection. So I'm trying to collect toys too. I want to do a whole video about that. I might do that in just a minute. Uh, I want to talk about toys and stuff. But I also wanted to do this, guys. If, if you're watching this, I'm going to make another video right after this one explaining what I'm doing tomorrow. If you don't watch that video, here it is. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to wake up. It's 11.23 right now, so I'm tired. I'm going to wake up and I'm going to do a playthrough of Duck Dynasty the game. Uh, it'll be part one will be out tomorrow morning. It'll be anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, probably around 30 or 40 minute range because my phone, because of course all my recording is on my Samsung phones and so many people are surprised I managed to do it, but uh, it, no, I'm glad I'm able to do that. Um, and then I wanted to uh, do a thing for, uh, if y'all enjoyed the reactions previously, the Infinity War and Jurassic World, especially, gained so many subscribers off of that. It's, it's so cool, man. And, uh, we want to do, uh, some Christmas-related stuff, some drawing videos, uh, that I'm going to do, based on something I'm going to do for Christmas for my families, or for my family, uh, 
I want to do some more Jurassic Chats and Jurassic Readings and all that. Got to do some more of those. I'm going to do a video about Carnotaurus and uh, the roles of the dinosaurs in Jurassic World franchise or uh, Fallen Kingdom film. Sorry. But I wanted to, uh, most of all, when we hit the 1,000 subscriber mark, and hopefully if we can hit that before Christmas, well, me and my family are going to do a live stream Q&A. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to join in for that. And I'm going to make another video uh, detailing more out. I'm kind of just rambling on at this point, but I'm going to get all, you know, if y'all stay tuned this long, then uh, you'll you'll uh, get it. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Hope y'all enjoyed this feeding video. Not like it used to be. We've lost a lot of friends in Jurassic Room, and it's pretty sad. But now we're going to be persevering. We got some of the oldies in here, though. We got Salazar. He's probably... Salazar is probably the oldest animal in this room now, I think about it. Salazar and Nira. Yeah, Salazar and Nira. No, Nira would be the oldest. Nira is about four years old now. Salazar is two. Caesar's about, well, he's about three years old. Or no, he's about two years old from when I got him a year ago. So he's about two years old. Uh, actually, the must will probably be the oldest, thinking about it. And, you know, it goes on from there. Thanks, guys, for watching. Let's hit that 700 subscriber mark. Or, no, why are you saying 700? We gotta hit the 1,000 subscriber mark. Man, it's, we got 923 subs last time I checked. So that's am amazing. No, 925. So 75 subscribers to go to the 1,000 subscriber mark, guys. And if we can hit it before Christmas, which I hope we will, we will do the... Sorry, my nose is stuffed up. We will do the live stream Q&A. And that's going to be pretty cool, guys. So stay tuned tomorrow for the playthrough and uh, of Duck Dynasty, whether you enjoy the the you know the show or hunting game or not. I hope you all will enjoy the playthrough because it's going to be the first of many. So thanks, guys, for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. <laughs> oh, and I uh, figured... Forgot about this. Might as well put him back in the tank. Yeah, look at poor, poor guy. I'm sorry, big guy. Go on, pup. There you go. Tally ho! Sorry, big guy. I gotta clean your tank out. <laughs>